Now, over 500 Njiru residents have moved to court seeking to stop their eviction from a thousand acre piece of land belonging to the family of the late member of parliament, Gary Shona Kirima. Through lawyer Dunstan Omari, the residents won the High Court to stay the execution of a verdict issued by an environment and lands court sitting in Kisumu, which ruled that the land belongs to the late politician. In the application, through George Obola, the chairperson of the Runway View Residents Association, they they say that if the court does not grant them a stay of execution, they risk being rendered homeless in the face of the fast approaching Christmas festivities and the Elena rains. The British conquered Kenya and Kenya became a colony. Before that time, land was in the hands of Africans and Kenyans. 1904, the British lands in Nairobi acquires the land now called the Kirima land. They issue a title then called an indigent, giving it to foreigners, that land, for a lease of 99 years. My good friend Wakili Suiga has taken you through the several assignments and the amount that was supposed to be paid as leased to the government of the British colony. That time the currency was not Kenya shillings, it was the Indian rupees. The Wazungus paid the rupees, later died, several changes happened. Last one being succession mark of 1944, which is very critical. It was heard by the Majesty's Supreme Court and granted Dominico that land. Come 1965, 64, 63, Kenya acquires independence. We take the maps, the crown maps, the crown mutations, the crown documents, and they become Kenyan documents, and out of that, Dominico continues to have the land, purportedly called the Kirima land. 